Hey everybody, welcome into Rock Painting 101. Uh, today's tutorial is going to be a fun op art kind of heart uh, that you can do. Now you can start with any heart uh, color that you want. The main part of this tutorial is how to put the design on top of your heart. So it's kind of a square that slowly turns and shrinks down to the center. So the first thing we have to do is decide where our outermost square is going to be on our heart. And we're gonna have to just make it up a little bit uh, because we want it to be all the way off the edge of the heart in most places. So just pick anywhere on your heart that you're gonna do your first straight line and everything's gonna kind of move from that line. So we're just gonna do a line here on the bottom of our heart as straight as you can. Now envision if that line were to come up and create a square, it would come across so that it's creating a 90 degree angle here. So we're gonna go right about here, cutting across to our heart, like that, up, over, and then if it came down, it would come about here on our heart. And then we do wanna have one of our lines complete. So we're gonna do this one just like this. We're going to connect point one and two, even if that corner isn't completely on the stone. So we've got our uh, square with some invisible edges on our stone. Now to create this optical illusion, the way that we create our lines is you start by going in on the edge slightly, and then this line would come back towards the outer edge. And as we get closer to the center, you're going to see the full square. Uh, but at the beginning, we kind of have to use our imagination of where it's going to go. So we're going to start here and we're going to head towards that outer line slightly. Okay, now we're going to turn our rock. Okay, so for our next line, we're going to come in about the same amount as we did here. And we're going to aim for where that one started. So whether it's easier for you to start at the point and come to the edge or start from the edge and go to the point, that's going to be something you'll develop as you do it. Um, I find it easier to start at the point and come to the edge sometimes, but as I get smaller, I mix and match. So we're just gonna start here and make sure you have like a goal of where you're heading. It's pretty close to that first line. I was talking, so now my pen could maybe dry it a little bit on the tip and you're gonna come out like that, okay? My line got a little wobbly on me going over my paint. Now we're gonna do the same thing here. Now we're not gonna see where it goes, but we're gonna start at the point and we're gonna kind of start to slightly make some distance into that area. And over here, it's the same thing. We're not really gonna see where it's at. We're just gonna kind of make up where we think about it would be. And it'll just get slightly wider. Now this one, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna start here and we're gonna pinch towards the edge a little bit like that and then here we'll have our full line we'll come out a little ways here the same thing full line out all the ways and i'm going to think that that's actually going to touch this time so we'll come out here do 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 about here like that and we're going to turn and we're just going to keep continuing this process until we're to the smallest little square and you'll see it starts to create this really cool illusion as you go along. So skip over that hole. And we're gonna line the outside of this when we're done. So if you get any of these edges that go a little bit over when you do your final line. Now we're looking a little more rectangle, but don't worry, it'll still look good. When it's done you'll still have the same illusion and that's okay i think sometimes when you've got a heart it's longer so i guess visually you see a little bit of a more of a rectangle maybe we're just going to keep going here and as it shrinks down it really starts to create this fun design now take your time with this if you've never done this design before. Um, I've done quite a few of these. Uh, I've just done them on squares usually. This is the first time on a heart. 
So you'll kind of get in a little bit of a rhythm and you'll get towards your center pretty quick as you're moving along here. Just keep turning that rock. And it's gonna get smaller and smaller. And I basically like to do these designs until I really just can't get in there anymore and create a line without bumping into one of my previous lines. About there probably, like that. Now we're gonna just do a quick outline to crisp up our edge here. I did this one on top of my metallic red paint, if anybody's wondering, it's the Deco Art metallic paint. But we're done. Isn't that fun? It almost has like a rose look to it in a unique way. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, take a second, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming tutorials. Bye-bye.